Morning folks, how are we doing? So the next video I decided to watch was Our Courthouse Marriage. It's uh, Chantel has decided to upload this. Uh, of course, she has decided to upload this on her main channel, as opposed to the Chantel and Sala channel, the wee side one she has. Uh, if, if you can't guess why, then I I, I don't need, you know, you probably eat crayons or something like that. The reason she's doing it here is obviously she wants the most attention, because no one really cares about her, Sala and Chantel one. I, I barely ever see anyone reacting to it or talking about it anymore, because a lot of them is just her... Like, oh, I went to a museum and just kind of dandered around and muttered about some things. So she knows no one's going to watch it there, even though 100% it would be better suited for over there than it would be for this channel, especially with all the hate that's been all over her channel recently. But nah, that's it. She doesn't care. She's, just, she's doing this because she wants to do it on this channel to get as many clicks, as much money as possible from it. It really isn't performing overly well from my memory, though. Uh, so I guess we're just going to jump into it and see how ungodly boring this is. That's, uh, okay. That's music. That certainly is music. Woman gets separate elevators. I love this. Why do you, why you, if you have to pixelate out this person, because you've been getting in so much trouble recently for including other people in videos that you shouldn't be, why do you, how, why, why are you filming this at all? Also, I, I'm sorry, like, the women get separate elevators, I love this. I don't think it sounds like a great, I don't think it sounds like a great thing, though, uh, what is it, separate but equal thing, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, you know, it's their culture, sure, whatever, but like, I, 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 I just I think it's a it's a weird thing to be. This is so good. It's like eh, not really. Is that it? Is that it? This is empty. This actually looks similar to our court buildings. On the, do all court buildings look the same on the inside? It kind of looks similar to our court buildings. Like I, I I'm I'm not a frequent attender, like so I don't really know. But it's like I've been inside a couple, like and it, it, they it looks like this. Oh, it's not really... Please tell me this isn't them getting married. <laughs> oh my god. No. Okay, one, that ring still looks terrible. Is this what he showed up for to get married? Like a t-shirt and a hoodie? <laughs> is that what he showed up to get married in? Oh my god, the love is real. <laughs> the love is real. Oh my god. No. Bro. Put some effort in. Put some effort in. I don't. You don't need to be wearing a dicky bow and like a as a black tie event or anything like that. But like, come wear a nice suit. Holy shit! We are today in the court, and uh, we are waiting. I'm sure this is just what Chantel dreamed of for her her beautiful wedding where she is only posting this entirely to prove to everyone that they actually did get married. Mabrook, Mabrook, Salah and Chantal. Mabrook, inshallah, Mabrook. Thank you. Okay. Mabrook, Mabrook, Mabrook. Hello, guys. We just finished from the marriage. What was that awkward pan for? Was that to say, see, guys, we are actually still outside the court building. Yeah, see? Just, here you go. I'm just going to pan across and film the front of it for no apparent reason. <laughs> This is so awkward. Oh, this is so awkward. Contract and we are going home to celebrate. Yalla. Wedding party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi guys, so I just decided to... Wow, the low BMI voice is on keys today. This is the closest I think I've ever seen them sit. <laughs> oh God. Oh, she has the awkward uh, body position, um, but you know, it's the, the arms folded low over her belly, trying to hide her belly. That's kind of sad and pathetic. Put together a few snaps of our courthouse wedding bees. I know it doesn't look like much to it some, doesn't. but it, for us, no, it, doesn't. it meant everything. It was very special. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, see, I wouldn't have known that if you didn't include a heart. I'm th Chantel, thank you. Thank you so much for including that. I was unsure about what emotion I should be feeling here with his uh, kind of face he's pulling and your psychotic bunny boiler face. Because <laughs> I was, well, for me at least, I was marrying my soulmate. And I know Salah feels the same way. Why? I can hear you fluttering around with your microphone. Why did you include this? This is your high level editing. <laughs> is that all? Is this going to be all still shots after this? Like. 
that was like a, a minute and like a minute, a minute of footage. <laughs> That's it. And That's mashallah, lame. mashallah, I am so happy. And I just want to share a little bit with you guys. Okay. We went to a courthouse. You showed that already. A religious wedding. It was just done at the court. We're more focused on the legal side of things, just being legally married. That does not come across good at all. Oh, why would you say it like that? Oh, this isn't religious or anything like that, even though she has, I think, actually, finally, actually, finally, possibly, maybe, not 100%, 95%, 90%, 92% 92 confirmed that she is now a Muslim. But now it's, oh, this isn't a religious thing at all. It's not a religious wedding, even though now they're both Muslim, so they should potentially be able to do it. I'm not 100% sure. I don't understand, you know, what the specific rules in Kuwait are for how long you have to wait or what the churches will accept for her being a convert. But it's just like, oh, we just want to make sure legally we get it on paper that we are actually married. Just we need to get that confirmed ASAP. That doesn't sound good, especially when people think this is a marriage of convenience. This, that, that doesn't, that, that's not how you want to make it sound when it's, I'm marrying my soulmate. And we want to make sure that it's legally not questionable. <laughs> and we'll have a wedding at some point. Uh, maybe in the future, inshallah. Didn't you, cl you claimed you got married like three or four days after you arrived in Kuwait. So is this, a, was that a LARP? Was that, were you, tro were you trolling the trolls? Like... It, this is comes across as really disingenuous that something bad happened there and you needed to come out and get this done. Why didn't even pretend that this is old footage or something like that? That probably would have made more sense. So, for now, this is all we decided we're comfortable with showing you. Nothing. Um, nothing. People Literally just nothing. People have to keep speculating and accusing us of being fake married. That's fine with us. We have decided that we will not be showing any kind of personal marriage contract. You don't number have one, to. that's not anyone's business. And number two, we just don't feel comfortable with that kind of personal information being circulated on... You, you okay, firstly, you feel feel very comfortable with that kind of... Just to stop, stop pretending that suddenly you're like a really shy, you know, closeted person. That's not, that's not what you do. Your whole thing, anytime anyone criticizes you, is like, I'm such an open person. I share everything with you. That's a, don't try and use that as your excuse. Just say, I don't need to show you this. The end. You have no right to, to, to this information. That's that's all you need to say. Just Maybe just play some more B-roll footage or something like that. I can't believe you only had a minute of actual footage. And now we just get like awkward still shots that aren't even in the right resolution. Line. So that will be our personal um, information. And also I will not be sharing personal information like my status here in Kuwait and things like that but what we will do is just share a few snaps like I said of our day so I will explain a few snaps of your day okay two of them don't look like they were taken by well three honestly three of them don't look like they were taken by you because the one at the courthouse is far too far away the one at the front of the courthouse I just I it, it's too low resolution it looks like it's probably an older picture the one straight down maybe you took that I still I don't care if you took it or not, but it doesn't seem like you did. The only pictures I've seen of the day is like you got two instantly after each other, one after each other. If you two, a bit of the process. How is there six more minutes of this? Um, basically, we had to go to this courthouse, and there were a lot of stairs to go up to get in, and the place was very busy See? and had many, many floors. Oh my god! Or, do you have only three photographs? We're already repeating photographs here. Like, come on. The elevator area was chaotic. People were waiting a it, long time to get in an elevator and they were jam-packed. This is... Okay, well, firstly, it didn't look like there was a lot of people, especially when you were in the elevator. There was, like, one other person in it, apart from, like, who I assume is the elevator attendant because it was, like, a guy. Um, well, it looked like a guy, at least. The, the one who you only saw the chest off. Like, okay, how many floors? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven floors up. That's, that's quite a lot, especially for someone like Chantal to walk. So I understand her waiting for an elevator. But it wasn't she... Is she not going to mention that she has an elevator phobia? Or has she overcome that and I just was entirely unaware? The one instance where I appreciate the gender segregation and the women had their own elevators and, like, a lift attendant. Okay, so, I was right. 
That was awesome. Which you'll see in the. You sound like really you're forcing this. Also, like you're saying this after you've already shown us this. Like, what is the? Why is this? Like, I okay, I, I entirely understand why. If for anyone who doesn't do YouTube or anything like that, the reason that this is 18 minutes and 16 seconds is because you get mid-roll ads from 18 minutes onwards. So you have to make your video at least eight minutes long. I, I don't. I think I said 18 there at one point because I'm, I'm really dumb. But you have to make your video at least eight minutes long before you can then get a mid-roll ad and you can put a couple mid-roll ads if you're really money-hungry. Like, so 100%, that's what I believe she's doing here, of just unnecessary padding. Like, why are we hearing about any of this stuff? Again, we already saw it. Video as well, and the video snaps. And so then we went up to the floor where we had to wait to get to a courtroom. Uh, we did just, um, it, it was a bit of a process. You have to file for marriage and all this and that. Um, and so I know there's going to be some details left out, but again, these are just personal things and we appreciate our privacy being respected. Yeah. So <laughs> why are you making um, this video then? A lot of why, why are you making this video then? Like, what are you keeping private? Like not that you didn't show the form. Well, your, your name is already fully known. His name is already fully known. Like, so what are you, like, what are you keeping private? private i'm not doing a conspiracy theory thing i'm just saying that she really isn't keeping anything private here except for like i don't his address is that it is that is that the only thing she's keeping private apart from that she really isn't keeping anything private everyone kind of knows everything about her the only thing people like really are speculating on that i've seen nowadays is one that it's a sham marriage you know that that it's, it's fake marriage and she's like well no look we did go down to the courthouse and get married she's like, yeah okay that doesn't that still doesn't mean it's not a fake scam marriage okay that doesn't disprove anything or that you and him live separately or you live in a box and he has a haram you know like that's that that's all people are speculating on none of which would be like revealed by showing a little bit more footage from inside the courtroom people just feel entitled to certain information and it's just no we we have a right to privacy so also um but there are some things i don't mind sharing with you guys so also we we got into the court courtroom and we stood in front of two judges and they basically asked me um they wanted to make sure that i accepted the marriage with sala and that he did with sala with sala <laughs> with oh my god that's so embarrassing it's so cringe it's so cringe it's just like yeah so i, I went to uh, i went to a court and you know we did some you know we walked around we you know, did some stuff and you know um there's some guys there was a judge there and you know some stuff and then uh, walked in and then you know it's just like i get it you're trying so hard you're trying so incredibly hard but it comes across as so fake when it's so out of left field okay that's that's a tip you know you don't sign you're swooning you sign like it's like oh i'm saying his name here oh salah he he i love i always i love salah he okay and then i'm just bored again i can't be fucked talking about the story <laughs> they pay me the i think they call it maher and now you I'm sound so bored likes. again it's something that um, Muslims in most Islamic countries do. The husband has to pay legally, um, give a gift, mon monetary gift to the wife, and one during the marriage as well. So that's, um, I did, um, that's personal as well, but we agreed oh to. Oh my God, it's so lame. But this is so uh, boring. That happened. You're saying nothing here. It is so incredibly boring. It's like, oh yeah, so uh, this is the me. Um, he he um, he give he uh, give me um something, but I'm not gonna talk about it. You know. Okay. It's here. So. Uh, also. For like your magical day, you really seem to be struggling to remember how incredibly. Like, this is like, I went into your building, we sat around for a while, we went to, and filled out a bunch of paperwork, we went in front of some judges, they explained the situation to me, blah, 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 blah. You seem like you're struggling to even recall any of this. It's such an unimportant day for you. They asked me where my father was, which really was an odd question to me because... Why would it that just be an odd really, question for you? But, it, you know, it made me realize how important father figures are in the lives of women here. Um, so no, it's it's it, it's how important men are in in the Muslim culture. Like a a lot of people consider like a marriage. They consider the old you know, old school Christianity, medieval times and stuff like that. It was like the father is like giving his daughter to a man, being like, okay, she's yours now. 
that's kind of how they, they're, they're looking at it a lot of the time. They'll be like, I was really confused why they mentioned that. But then you talked about, like, female segregation a, a minute ago. You know, you, you understand. You, you're apparently a convert. You, you understand this. Stop trying to, like, feign ignorance of, like, something that's probably not a super great part of the culture. And, yeah, so I am so happy. And... This really, you know that meme everyone was saying? It's like, you know, my son and I go to the, the, the museum. It really, it looks like that. It really looks like that. And so it's not even that he looks overly young compared to her or anything like that. He just doesn't. She just looks like an old lady, you know? He, it's not like he's like, oh, an 18 year old playboy. And she's like, you know, 38 or whatever she is. No, she, like, she looks like 50. And he looks like 35, 37, you know, that kind of age range. It's not that he's, like, super young. I still can't get over that he went in, like, uh, it's not even a t-shirt. It's, like, a, it's a long sleeve with, like, a, a body warmer, a gilet. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I don't do fashion. And a pair of jeans for his wedding. You know, that's how little a shit he gave. And this was uh, an experience, for sure. Um, well, I don't know what else there is to say, really, I guess. Just that we had to wait for a bit in the courtroom, outside of the courtroom. Yep, you said that you before. The snaps of, and then inside the courtroom, and I know there's a lot of confusion as to, well, uh, the status and all this, and um, the actual dates of marriage and the actual contract of marriage. But those are all things that most people don't show online whenever they get married. What are you talking about? Most people uh, don't uh, share, uh, you know, when they get married. Most people, most people's like wedding date is well known, <laughs> you know, being like, oh, people are confused about when we actually got married. But yeah, most people don't even, that's not something people really share. It's like, no, it, it very much is. It's why you have an anniversary of your wedding day, you know, like. You're trying so hard to pretend this is like super secret knowledge that everyone keeps to their chest. If people was like, when did you actually get married? Because didn't you claim earlier on, like I said, you claimed like three or four days into being in Kuwait that you got married, and now weeks in, you're finally saying, oh yeah, we just we, we just got married today, teehee. And people are like, wait, that doesn't make sense. It's like, oh well, the the time people get married is private, and you shouldn't ask about it. It's a good, they don't lie about it. <laughs> uh, they usually just show the wedding ceremony. We didn't have one as of yet. Again, it was just very. Um, yeah, you're 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 rushing to get a legal marriage before you go back, okay? Maybe, maybe someone told you, okay, it's too obvious. This is like a fake marriage or something like that. You're you guys are looking really suspect. You, maybe you shouldn't get married within three days of her arriving in the country. And it's like, okay, okay, okay. We'll we'll wait a couple of weeks. We'll wait we'll wait a month and a bit. You know, just to make it look more legitimate. You know, maybe maybe it's something along those lines. That's how this feels. A lot more than it's like, oh, well, we actually got married four, four days in. Oh, well, actually, no, we only got married there today, teehee. Uh, because private information, you guys can't know about it. It feels, especially because you didn't have a wedding ceremony or anything like that, it, it, it very much just feels like you are just quickly doing this because you're about to head back to Canada fairly soon. Very, qu It was a very quick courthouse wedding for now. But, uh, inshallah, in the future, we will organize some kind of party. So it was just low-key and um, she celebrated. She sounds so sad. With friends, after, friends and family afterwards in private. But um, that's basically <laughs> all we did. Did your aunt not fly over to see it? How about, how about your mom or anything like that? Did they not fly over to see your wedding day? No? Okay, that's even more suspicious. This just She sounds so sad. She sounds so sad when she's playing this. This is your, it's like, oh my god, it's such a magical day with Salah? It's Salah? But then she's like, sounds so sad at all other times. Like, this doesn't feel genuine. Did for the time being. And we will, if we do have some kind of celebration in the future, uh, now we it's if make public, we will. Now it's if we have a celebration in the future. Now it's if we actually have like a wedding ceremony in the future. A minute ago, it's like, oh yeah, well, this is only a wee small, low key thing that we're doing, and we're gonna have a full wedding ceremony later on. We just gotta plan that still. It's like, well, if we do it, uh, we might do. <laughs> but there's a lot in my life now that I'm keeping private, and marriage details. I think you can appreciate. Especially with the like amount what? of sleuths we have online. Like, what? 
what are you like what are you talking about marriage details you're trying to keep private it's like everyone knows his name everyone knows your name it's not like that is the information people can get from like looking up i don't know if qa it has like decent public protection laws on data and in, in uh, people's personal information or anything like that but it's like you're scared of saying like when you actually got married that is like a very common thing people talk about especially when your whole channel is about you getting married <laughs> you know because you're talking about my husband my husband especially when I'm, okay well so apparently you weren't married the entire time you were calling him your husband you know um very invasive the internet can be very invasive so it we can just be. really think it's maybe it's interest to keep a lot private yeah maybe you shouldn't have talked about any of this then if you're really worried about the internet maybe you shouldn't have made your coupleness your entire personality that you keep freaking out about and going after people over it repeatedly maybe you shouldn't have waved that red flag at the fucking bull and but we did want to share a little bit of the day with you so it was uh very nice day. Very special to marry my soulmate. Yeah, you sound so enthusiastic. Happier. I couldn't have asked for a more supportive husband supportive. in every single way. <laughs> and I feel very, very blessed. And I'm just going to try to take advantage of oh, being God. positive and appreciate these blessings Eight that seconds. God has given. Eight it's seconds, a Chantel. wonderful man to take <laughs> care of me. And uh, as husband and wife, this is, of course, my... My first marriage, and may This is of course my first marriage. Okay, did did anyone doubt that? Is, is anyone claiming she's been married before? I'd be the only one in my life, inshallah. Yeah. And thank you guys so much for watching this, and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye, masalama. There you go. You you no, you, you got over the eight minute mark. You're fine. I can see her sitting there on her on her counter. Come on, nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Uh, repeat more information. Just uh, talk about how it's uh we we sat outside the court for a little bit of time and it was quite quick. Something like that, you know. Oh, what a lame video. What a lame. I can see why this hasn't like gone nuts and why a lot of people haven't talked about this. And why a lot of people haven't watched this. It's really boring. Like, it's genuinely really really boring. Like the fact that it's eight minutes long and my video is only twenty two minutes long. It kind of shows this is incredibly boring. I've been trying to find things to talk about. Yeah, this isn't something that if people think you're having a fake marriage, I, I this won't like change their mind in any shape or form. How weird you're being about like the date of when you got married is also kind of suspicious and leads to like more conspiracy theories over less. It's very clear that you're doing this for attention. It's very clear you're doing this to get ad revenue, which, you know, it's fine. It's your job. You obviously want ad revenue, but it's just, it's so obvious when you're just over eight minutes and it's so much of this video is you just repeating yourself over and over again. And that's the video, guys. I want to quickly thank my patrons, Frank, Haley, Samuel P. I'm just saying, and absolutely massive. Thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, all that malarkey. This is a new channel, so I'm going to have to ask for that stuff on this one. This is my short, kind of rambling channel. My main channel is going to be for scripted content now. I think I said that at the beginning of this video. I'm not 100% sure. We all know I'm quite dumb. But yes, I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.